What's up? That was Liv. Sandra's out the coma, but she's broken both her legs. She's gonna be bed bound for ages. Blimey. Well, it's just as well your mum's still out there then. Yeah, and as usual, I'm nowhere to be seen. Oh, come on, mate. We've been over this. I should be there for Liv. Yeah, and if you could, you would. And besides, you're booked in to see this counsellor tomorrow. Why don't we go out somewhere? Where? I, I don't know, a walk. I mean, we could throw caution to the wind and make a picnic of it. A picnic? Well, not a butch enough for you. A couple tins and a bacon butty, then. All right, fine. But if I even sniff a cucumber sandwich... You have my solemn promise. I might grab a blanket, mind. It might be damp. Do you know, I'm thinking of closing up here early, too. Mark of respect for Ashley. Nothing to do you wanting the day off, then. Can't believe you're even suggesting that. But before you do, uh, grab us some of that salmon, will you? Oh, what? Salmon too nice for you now, is it? Are you guys having a picnic? No. No, I'm not allowed to use the P-word. You all right? Can't grumble. Oh, special occasion. Now having a picnic. Oh, we could join you if you want. Now I've got the day off. Tempting as that sounds, off us. <laughs> Lachlan's out soon, isn't he? Yeah, she'll be back in home farm any week. Not that he's talking to any of us. Lachlan not staying with Chrissy. Must have a bit more taste than I thought. Hey, uh, do you mind getting that? I've left my car back at the house. The old ones are the best. What are you doing? You came over to me. I didn't have much choice. Yeah, well, Tracy's closing up now, aren't you? Well. Yeah, unless it's something quick. It's not important. Bye, Aaron. See ya. Hey, I was just about to call you. How are you feeling? I could actually kill for a gin and tonic, but not like you're about to hurl. Do we have to do this here? Anyway, why'd you ask? No reason. So, come on then. What did he say? Who? Ross, obviously, when you told him. I just said I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I knew it. People like him want stringing up, preferably by what the... What are you on about? Oh, well, don't try and pretend. It's written all over your face. He didn't want to know, did it? I'm telling you, next time I see Ross... You'll say nothing. I mean it. Now this is what real men eat. <laughs> that's not eating, that's force-feeding. <laughs> Took us that salmon. What, that salmon that you turn your nose up at? You want it, you're going to have to go and get it. Really? Yeah, go on. Really? <laughs> go on, just give it me. OK, OK, all right, go on. Give it me, come on. All right. Give it me. OK. OK, you win. <sighs> Should have done this on our wedding day. What? Gary's too civilised for you? Well, might have livened things up a bit. I'm sorry, was it that boring? I've had better. Yeah? No, I haven't. You know, I'm really proud of you doing this counselling tomorrow. Come on. We're not going to talk about that now. OK. So what do you want to do? It's your picnic. You decide. We could always have another go at our wedding night. <sighs> so you want to go back already? Have you said anything about going back? Or is that something else you don't do outside? Well, I didn't mean out here. So now who's Nash? 